new details tonight about the circumstances that led up to a deadly police-involved shooting in the city of Miami overnight. We've learned a toddler was stabbed before the deadly confrontation played out. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Miami with more on what happened. Joan? Well, the mother of that toddler passed away here at Ryder Trauma Center this morning. Her toddler daughter was stabbed in the chest and is doing better, according to family members. The oldest daughter of the woman who passed away spoke to us today, describing the terrifying moments of seeing her mother being attacked. <laughs> A daughter shattered. Her mother is gone. Police say repeatedly stabbed early morning in their little Havana apartment on Northwest 7th Avenue. I was sleeping with him. I wake up and I see him, like the knife, trying to kill my mother. According to the 18-year-old, the man with the knife was her mother's boyfriend, whom she'd been dating about eight months' time. And she says he also stabbed her two-year-old sister. Family shared this photo of the little girl they say is recovering at Jackson Memorial Hospital. They do the surgery, and, and, and they, they feel better. She feels better now. But the toddler has lost her mother, and the man accused of killing her is dead. Miami police say the violent argument spilled over into the street, and an officer on routine patrol saw the man stabbing Medina Feliz and fired. He told the guy to put the knife in there, in the floor, and he don't want to, like five times. Then the police um, shot him. The officer did everything that he could in order to prevent uh, more injury. But unfortunately, he had no other choice but to fire. The victim's large extended family spent most of the morning at the hospital, grieving over losing Medina Feliz and rallying for her two year old. You cannot imagine. You cannot imagine. Medina Feliz's brother tells me he worried about his sister's safety because he knew the boyfriend had been violent before. He said, please, uh, uh, does, uh, she was crying in front of her and she called me while he's was talking to her about, you know, uh, and she has said, you know, and look at what happened. The boyfriend, the man shot and killed by police, has not yet been identified. As for the officer, we did inquire about how long he's been with the department, and uh, we were given no information. All we know is he is on leave as per department standard. Reporting live in Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.